don't look at the numbers at all. For the first few programs, uh, the roadmap is great. Like it's a really nice progression and you can kind of judge like, okay, this is a little too easy. So either maybe go to the next one, do a few extra reps, but don't think that you can go into this, if, especially if you're a gym rat, like it's different. It's way different than free weights. It is a lot less forgiving and just don't overdo it. Gym, better do it smart. Get your own coach. They're where you are. Start the day right. They're in your home with the smartest gym in the world. Ready, set, go. Smart panel, smart bar, smart training. There you are. Customizing it right. AI form advice. Super set will show you what it's all about. It's a total workout. Welcome to the Superset Podcast, episode 44. This is Crystal O'Keefe. And this is Tom O'Keefe. Hello. Hi. So uh, you finally got to meet Kate in real life. I did. Oh, what a special, special evening. <laughs> oh, my God. I've been looking forward to that. You know, we have tried to make plans to meet her for three years. It's been a bit. Three years, well, though. we haven't met her. Okay, well, I did, Tom. Yeah. So, I, I mean, stayed at home and took care of the kids. While you went on gallivanting around the East Coast. <laughs> West Coast, honey. West Coast. <laughs> you don't even know where I was. I don't know. I'm bad with East and West. And I still have to stop and think and remember which is right and which is left. It's never become automatic. For real. It's never become automatic for me. Oh, my God. I have to stop and like, I write with this hand. Okay. That's how I. Right, right. Yes. If I was left handed. I well, wouldn't know, you just do the L thing? I wouldn't you even just know how at, I'd keep them apart. You just look at the L yeah. on your hand. That's left. Like Smash Mouth. You just no. It's like this, and it's like this is an L, so it's obviously your left hand. Come on, Tom. Okay, but that's that's not how I do it. But I still have to stop and think about it. So you were gallivanting around the West Coast. I was. This I was is, a gallivanter. Yes. So uh, and you finally got to to meet Kate from Tonal. Very exciting. I did, and yeah. I brought back a special souvenir. You did. <laughs> you brought back the Rona. I did. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and cost the whole family a trip to Hawaii. Yes, yeah. we were supposed to leave for Hawaii on Friday, and Thursday morning you woke up feeling like shit and yep. took, took a test, and you were positive for the Rona. Yeah, good so, times, good, good times. So luckily we had the insurance. Yeah, and uh, and I'm glad it was several days later we decided to record because I would have been bawling. Yes, the other day. Me I too. Could not. Yeah, it was. I still feel terrible. Like, I feel awful that happened to our family and I caused it. I mean, I just feel like if I hadn't taken the trip, it wouldn't have happened. And well, I'm, with the lag time on between when you get infected and when you manifest symptoms and test positive, like, you might have got it here somehow. I don't know. You know, because you were only in, in L.A. for like what, 36, 36 hours. 36 hours. So... It's really hard to say, but I mean, you also, you've been vaxxed and boosted mm -hmm. and, you know, you wore a mask on the plane Both and, and the airport. Mm -hmm. And so it's like, I mean, you also, I'm a little fatalistic about it at this point because now we have, we have things to help us. Originally we had nothing. Right. right? And so now we've got vaccines and we've got medicines. And so it's like, I'm a little bit more fatalistic and we're not in uh, a, uh, an at-risk group nor is anyone in our household so we also have the luxury of being a little bit more fatalistic some people don't yeah and so for sure um so i mean it sucks but luckily your case i think because of your vaccine has been very mild it has i yeah. mean i can't believe how much better i feel in so that happened thursday today is monday and i feel like a different person yeah like monday morning it was rough. Not you, gonna lie. Yeah, you certainly <laughs> had a had a rough weekend, but like rough, like you were uncomfortable. But at no point yeah. did you feel like I never had the shortness of breath. You, I never had the loss of taste and smell. We never felt like you were in danger. Or we needed to call a doctor. No, it no. was like when you, I say rough, it was like a really bad flu. Like right. when you feel real achy all over, and yeah. there was fever, and it was just like walking up the stairs because I was so achy, hurt. Yeah, you know. But now I'm feeling a lot better. I even did a 20 minute walk plus run today. 
day. Um, so I didn't, I was a little scared. I almost tacked on a tonal and I was like, oh, <laughs> I don't want to overdo it because I need to work this week. Yeah. And since we can't take vacation to For Hawaii. Sure. <laughs> yeah. So like saving my vacation time. So we, so we <laughs> took our insurance money that we better get uh, and and booked a cruise so we're still the kids will still get to go somewhere first yeah. world problem I, I know, know right? but they were all they were very bummed it's it was it's funny because you know like we always have this conversation amongst ourselves of like do the kids even really care about these things because they're so just like okay i guess we're going yeah and then when it was like the day before like we're not going they were like what yeah <laughs> like there was real like both of them were like dear and you know what credit to everybody in this house everybody was so nice and yeah. like nobody made me feel guilty I, were, I made myself feel terrible yeah. but nobody else did yeah so, they, yeah they weren't jerky about it but you could all. tell that like oh they do care about these things yeah that's, that's a pleasant surprise. and they were very glad that we got something else booked for later yes. this summer so so now we will the first week of august be gallivanting as a group this time yes 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 we will so <laughs> and i went and got my second booster on Saturday, yeah. so hopefully that means... And everybody else in the house is still testing negative, so yeah. only me that has it. Yeah. And everyone I hung out with last weekend still COVID-free, so yeah. just me. Not quite. Just me. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, what, pray tell, do you have in store for people this week? Oh, there is so much fun stuff happening over at Tonal. So we are going to talk about all the new features, the new things happening, new challenges, new books, new everything. So uh, that's that's uh, all coming at you. Okay. So much exciting stuff. Awesome. Well, before we get to all that shameless plugs, don't forget, we're available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, wherever you get your podcasts, you can find us while you're there. Be sure and maybe leave us a review. That's always helpful. Also, yeah. follow us so you never miss an episode. You can also uh, find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash superset podcast. While you're there, like the page and join the group just to keep up on tonal things in between episodes. And also, you can watch all of these on YouTube at youtube.com slash the clip out, the name of the podcast that started it all. But uh, everything lives on that YouTube channel. So uh, swing on by there and you can watch these. So uh, there's all that. Let's uh, let's dig in, shall we? We shall. New tonal features. Tonal now has custom moves. Okay, so this is really cool because this has been asked about yes. since like day one that I joined Tonal. Um, so you can see that in this post, Kate is like, cross another one off the Feedback Friday list. You can now write your own custom movement description. So now you can write a description to bar move, rope move, etc. But it's so cool because if you're doing a bar move and you want to do something you know, you don't. Let's say you had three different custom bar moves. Okay. Well, it you can't really look at your stats then and tell the difference between bar one move, bar move one, bar move two, bar right. move three. And now you can because you can see these custom descriptions. Like this is a huge deal for people that use the custom workouts. Gotcha. This is amazing. Yeah. See, I don't know enough to do a custom workout, so like I don't trust myself. I'm like I do what I'm told and I don't ask any questions. I <laughs> <laughs> I respect that time. You're still new to weightlifting. That is okay. But there are a lot of people in the community that do their own uh, custom workouts and then they want to be able to see the difference, how they performed. Um, and I guess, you know, it, I should say Tonal is still not progress tracking for these moves just yet. So hopefully that'll be an additional feature. But right now you're able to go ahead and add descriptions so you can do your own tracking, which is pretty cool. It is. And while we're talking about moves, there are all sorts of new moves. Yeah. Which so, is like when you when, like I'm still skeptical of new moves. I'm like when they were like, you can do a, a racked squat. Now it's like, what sort of witchcraft is this? <laughs> I don't know if I want any part of this. Which is why you just do what you're told. Right. And don't don't and that's do what anything. I did. I did the racked squat and the, it was fine and it was fine. The only thing I won't do is the <laughs> the thing where they make you lift the the barbell lift with your neck. I don't do that. <laughs> It's one. a barbell front squad. Yeah, that's what they want you to think it, <laughs> it is. It is. It's a barbell neck lift. And it's I it, I can do it just fine. I don't know well, what the I problem is. Well, I guess you have a stronger neck than I do. <laughs> it doesn't land on my neck. <laughs> anyway, uh, so the cool thing is, is yes, they added all these moves, um, but that was a couple weeks ago. Th the new news is that they have updated all the form in five with all the instructors. So over in the OTC, you can look up any move 
new or old, and you can get a Foreman 5. So if you're struggling with a move, be sure to check out that feature. And 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 obviously, if you know somebody who just is new to Tonal and they're struggling with something, make sure to send them over to the Form Tips in Guide 7 or the Foreman 5. Uh, there's a whole bunch of them out there. They'll help you with the Bulgarian neck lift. <laughs> That's one of Tom's custom moves. Yes. <laughs> I created a custom move for the Bulgarian neck lift, and then I don't do it. <laughs> yes, he's as bitter as he sounds. <laughs> and we also have now programs plus. Oh, my God. I am so excited about this. So, you know, I have to say people have been like a little pushy. Okay. About a little concerned about the lack of four week programs that have been coming out. There's right. been a lot of speculation about why that is. And um, I've seen Kate post things like it'll all make sense soon. And on June 1st, it all became clear the newest program. Programs Plus, the newest feature, had mm -hmm. just dropped. And so what it means is that you take a program four weeks long and now you can change the level so you can beginner intermediate advanced you can enroll in any of those three right and then you can make each individual workout shorter or longer depending on your schedule if you have to you can even adjust the difficulty as you go along that's great because i mean i know that there are times when you know because i'm a big program guy i like the four weeks ones because i don't want to have to think about it yep. I pick and then i'm done for like three to four weeks depending on how fast i do them or three to six weeks depending on how fast i do them <laughs> but uh it's but there are times when you're like oh we've got to be somewhere and so if i could shorten one up by 10 minutes I would totally take that deal sometimes. Now you can. And and it's really cool. Um, I was looking at the different programs. Is there's there's three of them that just launched. So there's um, all three, again, are four weeks. And the power of you with Coach Gabby, that's focusing on get lean. Then okay. you have training camp with Coach Paul. That's about building muscle. So, Tom, that's probably going to be the one you're going to want to do. That's the one you want me to do? Is that what you're saying? No, I'm saying that's <laughs> you're based on your goals. I know. <laughs> and then um, Strength Made Me with with Coach Woody is building strength. Um, and so this is very, very cool. But it's like they have clearly have to film these very differently. I and bet. I think that's why we haven't seen any four-week programs in a while. It's You know, it's probably <laughs> like, remember that kind of choose-your-own-adventure version of Black mirror and it's like they had to film like 30 hours of content for, right. a, for what was like for the viewer a 90 minute movie because there were so many I mean I bet you it's kind of like that I'm sure it is so it makes sense that it took a while it's a little bit longer um, and I'm I think I think this is going to go over very well I am super excited about it I've seen a lot of positive content uh, comments about it over yeah. in the official tonal community you know it's also nice too because like you can you can take like oh maybe lower body i'll do a lighter version of it yeah you know maybe what we need is you know how like if you have a gambling problem <laughs> you can call 1-800 bets off mm -hmm. to to voluntarily ban yourself from casinos yeah i think maybe there should be a 1-800 number we could call to voluntarily remove this option for difficulty <laughs> settings for like lower body right because you see lower body and you're just like oh my god it's that it's it's leg day yeah oh crap i could totally see being like yeah i could totally handle 60 minutes of programming let's go except on leg day, except on leg day. <laughs> 30 minutes easy <laughs> and, then, and then we all get knocked over like weeble wobbles <laughs> like day is very important yes uh yeah this is really cool though i'm really excited to see it and i'm excited to see what else tonal has planned i have a feeling we're gonna have some other surprises this month coming up so look who's talking about tonal there was a cool blog post we wanted to point out for people uh, from Tonal, and it's a workout guide for all body sizes. Yeah, I love this. So it's it's all workouts that are off the floor, low impact. They're easy on the joints. And so they're for every person and every body. Um, and if you scroll down, Tom, you can see that they have a whole bunch of different options. So they kind of it's it's a guide like we've seen before for like get strong and get lean. 
but now there's all these different ones saying, hey, here's here's a guide that you can use for people that might need to do some modifications. So we've got Get Lean. Um, that's the name of the program. That's a good one. Starting out with Tonal. That's a good one. Uh, beginner Heat. That's a good one. Those are all for beginners. And then Intermediate, we have 20 and 20 Ignite. Uh, and then How P- Paul Built His Body. Um, and if you wanted to do Build Muscle for Beginner, there's Off the Floor with Coach Natalie. Best for Beginners. Slow and Strong. Great Glutes. Find Your Strength. Balancing Act. And then for Intermediates, you've got Push and Pull, Power, as Strong is Beautiful, and side by side. And then if your goal is to improve fitness, there's knees with ease challenge with coach Liz. Um, And then there's uh, also some different workouts like low impact muscle builder. And then there's a couple of uh, different ones you could kind of go from there. There's these are workouts. You got fit for all bodies, low impact legs, quick fit, strong and smart. There's a ton of them in there. So lots of different options. Plus there's a whole bunch of options for uh, cardio. So if you want to kind of see which cardio classes you should be taking and boot camp. So this is an excellent guide. Make sure you save this. Again, this is really good to have for people who are new to Tonal and they're asking questions like be, f- be sure and link this at at random, at will, not at random. Don't just randomly do it. <laughs> but like, but put it out there a lot when people are asking because there's bar, there's strength, there's mobility, there's hit, there's everything, all the different ones that they do. So be sure and uh, check this out. The June Tonal Eclipse Challenge is upon us. It is. This is a fun program. So there are this particular program. You you take any of the four week programs and you match it with a bunch of different classes that that tonal suggests to you and basically you're just trying to do a workout every single day the entire month of june the cool part is besides just being fun and being fit there's also flash giveaways and daily doses of motivation from tonal coaches so every day there's a new post with a video it's really fun and uh, i think it's really cool because the fun part about this is that so many people are on the go in the month of june and so if they have an off the trainer program they're doing they can still join if they want to do a 15 minute workout every day they can still join it's awesome so I have a dumb question. Is there an eclipse this month? Why is it called an eclipse challenge? I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> Points for owning it and not just making something up. <laughs> I've been really sick the last few days. So I didn't have time for oh, my... playing um, the old COVID card. <laughs> it's been three days. I think you're fine. <laughs> well, then what's your excuse for not looking it up? Because uh, I, I didn't care. <laughs> Well, then why'd you ask about it? I was just curious. I thought someone out there might want to know. Well, you and didn't probably care do, enough. But we don't have the ability to tell you. Thanks for tuning in. That's what, what we're here for. <laughs> New tonal content. As always, tons of new content. So we thought we'd go through some of it with you just to give you an idea of what is uh, new and waiting for you. So not just the new programs we talked about, because we just went through all those new programs, but there's also a bunch of other new content. But wait, there's more. There is more. Um, There's new quick fit. So there's upper body burn with Coach Allison, 15 minutes. Then there's the full body blast with Coach Jackson. So you're going to get a full body workout in just 13 minutes. Not to mention fire in motion with Coach Paul. Not sure how he manages to make fire, but he does. Full body, (laughs) 14 minutes. Because made it feel. Feels like you're on fire when you're done. 14 minutes. Uh, Then there's new cardio. Cardio for all levels with Coach Natalie. Full body in 16 minutes. Plyometric cardio with Coach Jared. 30 minutes. New mobility. Mastering aerobic mobility with Coach Jared. I am very intrigued by that. 33 minutes of full body. New recovery, lower body ease with Coach Nikki. And new warm up. Warm up for all with Coach Natalie. And then yoga, short stretch flow with Coach Francis, and new Pilates, long and lean legs with Coach Francis. So many great options. Yes. Man, we are so lucky to get all of this content. It's incredible. The Tonal Community Giving Back. June is Pride Month, and Tonal has a way for you to uh, participate and sweat. 
Yeah, Tonal's going to be hosting four give back classes to raise money for the Trevor Project. The Trevor Project is a not a nonprofit organization focused on suicide prevention among the LGBTQIA plus youth. Um, and then um, they, there's a class on June 1st live with Coach Liz at 4.30 p.m. And then on June 6th, it was on demand with Coach Pablo. June 13th, on demand with Coach Allison. And June 24th, live with Coach Brendan. Uh, all, and then that one's at 4 p.m. Pacific time. So the other thing to mention is there's also our amazing... Uh, tonal LGBTQ and allies partner community. Mm -hmm. They're going to be hosting their own pride events. Uh, You can join that group as well. Everybody is welcome. Uh, We interviewed the kind of host a few weeks ago, and uh, he said that everyone is welcome uh, as long as you are kind and supportive. As long as you're an ally, yes, you can be part of that group. So um, very, very cool. They have lots of events going on, so make sure you check out that group as well. Tonal Talks. June 1st featured a new Tonal Talk. Kate sat down with John Christie to talk about content and curriculum. Yeah, and Tom, I don't, I'm not sure if you made the connection here, but this this came right after the Program Plus announcement, and so he was specifically... Of course I made that connection. I was, I was like... <laughs> sure, everyone did. This has to be Program Plus related. <laughs> this is the first thing... That entered my head. (laughs) So there was a lot of in-depth discussion about what those program pluses can and can't do and what could or could not be happening in the future. So if you haven't gotten a chance to check that out, you definitely want to. Actually, what was going through my head is Tonal should call it curriculum. That's my little free gift to you, Tonal. (laughs) I think they sent it back. (laughs) (laughs) It happens a lot. Tonal Book Club. A new month means a new book for the book club, and this time it features One Life by Megan Rapinoe? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So she's got a fascinating story. So um, this this particular book it talks about her brother's struggle with addiction, her decision to publicly come out as a lesbian, and the controversy that erupted after she kneeled during the national ha- anthem at a soccer game in support of Colin Kaepernick and racial justice. Um, there have been so many times I've heard this woman's name. I'm super curious how this book will go. Um, very interesting, and I can't wait to hear what others' thoughts are on it as well. Absolutely, and I should clarify that I wasn't sure how to pronounce her last name because I don't know anything about sports. Oh, yeah, I think they I, all just assumed that. Okay, well, some <laughs> people are like, oh, you don't care about women's sports. Oh, no, I don't care about men's sports either. Yeah, I th- I I feel like we've said it, but just in case we haven't, um, you only know if it's uh, who are those players that, you know, the basketball players, the Harlem Globetrotters and the Bad News Bears. That is the extent of my sports knowledge. That's all he has. Oh, and Rocky. (laughs) Yeah, I guess I can. Not Marciano. (laughs) I don't even know what the second one is. We're (laughs) terrible sports coverage. Yes. What did we watch this year during the Super Bowl? Was were we watching like. Some I think we did we just watch a bunch of catfish that we had banked on the DVR probably I think that so. sounds like us <laughs> we were like we t- we turned it off like in the middle I scrolled Facebook and I'm like oh yeah the Super Bowl's going on <laughs> oh is that today yeah <laughs> in case you missed it. The community calendar has been updated for the month of June. Yeah, so don't forget, there's four different tonal partner communities. We've got tonal moms, tonal dads, tonal LGBTQ and allies, and tonal XXL community. The June community calendar has all of the events that have been turned in at the beginning of the month, plus they probably add more, So, um, like each month. So yeah. right now they posted June, but there's probably things going on. And since it's Pride, there's probably a lot of fun stuff going on in each group. That would be my guess. Yeah. So check it out. Yeah. A lot of a lot of squares filled out there. I love it. Tonal birthdays. June 9th is slash was, depending on when you listen. I guess it always <laughs> is will always be right. It just <laughs> be closer in the future. But uh, <laughs> stay focused, Tom. Sorry. Stay focused. <laughs> it's Coach Woody's birthday, reverse training. Okay, thanks. Bye. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Her reverse training birthday workout is going to be June 9th. So make sure and check that out. That's always fun to be the ones telling them, here's what you're going to do. Yes. 35 burpees in a row. (laughs) 
Just and because now with custom moves, you can make up all crazy oh, kinds of crazy yeah. stuff. Put in a bar move <laughs> with my description. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make it weird. <laughs> Ew. Ew. I'm, put, I'm putting that out there. Oh. I was saying, don't make it weird. Okay. We just got to, you know, people can I be. I do. Yeah, yeah sadly. <laughs> <laughs> the internet. Checking in with the Tonal Community. Joining us today via the magic of ZoomTube, it's Troy Moppin. Hey, Troy, how's it going? Hey. Oh, pretty good. Yeah, awesome. So uh, I have noticed that you have been on the official Tonal community page for quite a while. When did you like find Tonal and decide this is the machine for me? Well, I found I've been looking on and off it for a couple of years now. Yeah. But uh, in July of last year, so we ordered it and we got ours about August. August. Okay. So it feels like it's been longer than that. Um, but you're pretty active. So um, what made you decide you wanted to try it? Had Were, were you were you like um, really interested from strength training? Was it because of the awesome technology like myself? Or was it something else? It was really just... Uh, I started walking back in May of last year yeah. and decided I needed to add something to supplement that process and honestly i haven't worked out in a gym since i was in high school yeah and didn't really know what i was doing anymore so with the the features of spotter and that kind of stuff i was like it's a lot safer it is so I yeah hurt myself do you um and I, I Tom and I always say that like our favorite thing about it is that you don't have to think like you don't need to be a person who's super experienced with weights. So even if even if you had forgotten everything you did back in high school, it's like makes it super easy to pick up the tonal and just start doing your thing. Yeah, I mean, especially with the the AI, it, it does everything for you. <laughs> it sure does. Um, so uh, what kind of what kind of programs do you do the programs? Do you do the one offs? Do you do a combination? What's kept you uh, mo- motivated? Mostly just the programs. Uh, I made the mistake of thinking I was better than I was and started <laughs> out with one of Coach Pablo's programs and he destroyed me. <laughs> yeah, it will dissuade you of that notion real quick. Yeah. 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 When I took my assessment, I've told this story before, but uh, I, I, I took my assessment and then immediately laid down on the floor and took a nap. Yes, he did. <laughs> yes, he did. Fell asleep. <laughs> well, it also had the problem of uh, you saying it was a beginner program. And yeah, no, no. <laughs> Advanced beginner. Yeah. That's what it was. Yes. <laughs> You're like, I need an embryonic program. What's before beginner? <laughs> you know, those actually, that's something we should probably talk about because a lot of people think it's, um, beginner intermediate and advanced are actually based on like how new you are but it's really about the moves and so it's trying to be less complex not necessarily easier so um you can make any of the programs whether they're beginner intermediate or advanced hard (laughs) if you increase the weights right (laughs) it's all about the moves (laughs) so if you're new if you're new to exercise coach pablo is still going to kick your Uh, so do you do you have a favorite coach on tonal? Yeah, it's Pablo. Definitely sure. Pablo. Even though oh, yeah. we kicked Even though we did that to you. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, and what about uh, you? Post all the time on the official tonal community. What kind of inspired you to do that? I'm just the, you know, quintessential average guy. <laughs> so I figure if you know I can do it and I can motivate somebody else to do it, that it's a win win. Do you get a lot of feedback from people? Quite a bit, yes. Yeah. What What do they What do they say? Uh, they're really surprised at just how much I can stay consistent. Yeah. And that I'm always getting advice. I'm always putting myself out there. I'm completely an open book. That's nice because um, you know when it comes to anything you're doing that you're not. A hundred percent sure of like just people in general, not you specifically, the royal you. Uh, I feel like it's it is hard to put yourself out there because you don't know you're not an expert. And when you're learning something and doing something that's new to you, learning it in front of other people can be tough. It can be really um, (laughs) um, it can give you a lot of humility. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, the Internet loves to humiliate us. (laughs) Oh, yeah. (laughs) 
Um, but people, uh, I feel like the tonal community is generally supportive. Have you had any uh, any negative uh, comments, or has it been mostly supportive? It's been really supportive. I've I, I think our admins do a really good job at weeding out the the negative people. I totally agree. I hope it always stays like that. That would be amazing. So have you uh, had any uh, significant gains or progress that has really surprised you thus far? I think my biggest, I just actually posted just before we started, uh, the shirt that I'm wearing now, I haven't worn in longer than I can remember. And it was my favorite shirt for a long time. That's exciting. Yeah, that's always fun. Gosh, yeah. And uh, so now I feel like, have have you had enough progress that people outside of the tonal community are like, hey, oh, you're making absolutely. progress. Is that exciting? Do you, do you sing oh, the wonderful. praises? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I work in juvenile corrections. So the that's kids are quick gig. to point out your negatives. And even they're like, man, you're looking really good. That's awesome. That What a day brightener. Because, I mean, teenagers especially don't say anything nice most of yeah, the time. Yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> we have two living here. And uh, they're, they're, they're teenagers. They're, yes. <laughs> I was like, I think I want to borrow that sword on the wall behind you. <laughs> that's my wife's. <laughs> They're not that bad. Yeah, no, they're not. <laughs> Just for intimidation factor. Oh, right, I wouldn't right. actually use it. I wouldn't know what to do. I think we all know that. Oh, yeah. I would just end up hurting myself. Are those all your collectibles in that room? Uh, these are all my wife's. Okay. Okay. That's a lot of collectibles. It is. What yeah. are we looking at? I'm yeah, just what's curious. What's going on back there? Oh, she loves Inyasha, so it's just a giant collection. There's more off to the left over here gotcha. i'm not familiar with that what is that uh, it's a japanese anime okay. okay my daughter would probably know all about it yes, she, she loves would, the anime <laughs> she would roll her eyes at you for not knowing what she that totally is. would she totally would yeah <laughs> it's fascinating because the nerd culture is is been around long enough now to where like like i have all sorts of nerd things that i love like you can see a mr science theater logo like right behind me here and <laughs> and uh but like the teenage nerds are like, oh, that's old man nerd stuff. Yeah, it's different. It's different nerd. She came home with a pair of pants that look like uh, Jenko's from the 90s last night. I was like, oh, my God, the 90s are back. She was like, these are new. I was like, OK, but those were totally a thing in yeah. the 90s. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, wide, leg, wide leg jeans were all the thing. Right, yes. right. It's even got the metal loops on them. And yeah. yeah, I was like, you look like you're going to see a Deftones concert. Yeah, like, you're just missing your skateboard. Yeah. <laughs> Tell everybody in corn I said hi. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so um, what uh, what are what are your long term goals when it comes to tonal? I'm trying to get back down my my short, uh, medium term goal is I want to get back to my you know, driver's license weight of 220. <laughs> driver's license weight. That's great. Um, <laughs> Nobody but, ever updates it. <laughs> yeah. No, no. But my, I guess my perfect goal would be to be down to like 190. Yeah. Wow. And w so how far are you into your goal now? Well, uh, I lost a lot of motivation in January and February. It just kind of burnt out. So yeah. I kind of slid backwards, but that's cool because it happens to everybody. Sure. It does it happen does. to everybody. Uh, I weighed myself today at 245. That's mm -hmm. awesome. That's awesome. When I when I first started my 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 journey, and this is before Tonal, this is back in May, I was like 350. Whoa. Whoa that's 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 phenomenal. Uh, that's a pretty short man. period of time. Yeah. yeah. So do, whenever whenever you kind of is there something that like changed that kind of demotivated you, or do you think you just got burnt out? I think I really just got burnt out. Um, I was hitting it too hard. Like yeah. I was just, yeah. I was doing too much. Yeah. And then when you, you know, I'm gonna take a day off, you know, and then work, we, you know, everybody's struggling with employment yeah. as far as finding people to work sure. and corrections has been hit incredibly hard. I can't even so imagine. I working, yeah. yeah. I was working a lot of extra hours and I was just tired. Yeah. Well, that's understandable. And I think, too, in the beginning, like the gain, you know, the, the losses, the milestones, they come kind of fast and furious. And then and then it slows down a little bit. I think it, it's it's easy to to backslide. I don't think that's uncommon at all. It's not. It's really and, not. And I think one of the things and, you know, people talk about it all the time is I was watching the scale too much. Mm. And, you know, I was probably building a lot of muscle. 
So I was adding weight and then I got discouraged because it was going up and it was going down. It was just wasn't clicking that my clothes fit better. Yeah. Totally. Like, like you get so focused on one metric that you stop taking into consideration all of the other data points saying that that this is working. Like, don't you don't have don't give up. Um, and I also think um, for me. Um, whenever I was doing, I, I started kind of my exercise journey on the Peloton end of things. I was doing a lot of cardio and I found tonal through Peloton. Um, but whenever I was doing Peloton, I started doing power zone challenges all the time. And because they were taking up a tremendous amount of time and they, the structure was super, super similar. My point was I stopped finding joy when I was doing it. I had to go back to just working out for fun again finding the fun and i feel like with with tonal you can do that in a lot of different ways because there's there's your live workouts which i find a lot of fun and there's so many communities building up around tonal that people like to work out together that's fun um and just you know kind of like finding your own milestones and your own little things to to work on and i think all of your posts are really good because it reminds people to stop and appreciate those milestones stop and appreciate the the gains that you do see on a daily basis yeah um and it's one of those things like I'm, I'm a data nerd. I love seeing just numbers. Yeah. Uh, and I think one of the things that people get too focused on, especially on the community is like strength score. Yes. Like people get hyper focused on it. And then like when you do like Tony, Tony's new program, like it'll lower your strength score right. because it's completely radically different. Yeah. And people get discouraged and then they stop, you know, going at it as much no that is a really good point because uh i've been focusing on the lean programs a lot lately with tonal and whenever you focus on the lean programs you're not lifting you're lifting more reps but it's not as heavy and i'm not like super strong anyway so it it can it can be a pretty low volume and that can that can of course affect your strength score because if you're not doing heavy reps on those those same moves that you were doing within the last 6 months then your score is going to go down but that doesn't mean that you're not strong right and so it doesn't mean that you're not gaining or benefiting from that so i think that's a really good point it's just like the scale it's one metric not the only metric yeah i uh i'm 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 lucky that however I'm wired, I don't say that very often, is like I tend to not pay attention to that stuff. You Crystal gives me trouble all the time because she'll come down and be like, Oh, you had a PR and I'm just like, Oh, is that what that noise means? I was trying to figure out how to make it stop. <laughs> and those PRs really motivate me. But for Tom it's like totally yeah, he just doesn't it doesn't bring him any joy. But for me it's like, Oh yeah, like I feel like that workout counted because I got a PR. <laughs> I always feel like it adds a pound, right? Like if you do it long enough, it'll add a pound. So if you do it long but enough, there's the key. If you get, do it long enough, PR. if you like do it long enough, that's still that's still an accomplishment, Tom. I guess. Yeah, but the one I I I, I hate goblet squats. Like that is oh, like yeah. the devil. Yeah, because the heavier you get, the harder they are. Yeah. Like, and I don't mean like just with your legs hanging on to that thing. Yeah. It fights you, man. <laughs> it does. Yeah. 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 I wish there was a better button. Well, like on top or something, just because when you're getting like to like the 70, 80 pound range, it's like I might let go and do some damage. Totally. Yeah. yeah. It can, I, it can be scary. Yeah, I'm get, getting to that point as well. Like it's, uh, you know, it's like you can just feel it f pulling against you. And then if they do one where they're having it flex or whatever, like and, and it's going up and down. So it's like it'll if you're doing I'm at like 76, but it'll shoot up to like 90 and yeah. then come back. It's just like, whoa, calm down. <laughs> it's like yeah. it's like I'm holding a snake. <laughs> I think. I've always called it. There's a little devil in that box. Yeah. <laughs> and when I make him sweat and you hear that fan kick up, I'm like, yeah, it's on. <laughs> it's on. <laughs> See, you guys are a lot stronger than me. I don't think it ever comes on whenever I use it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I've never heard a fan come on. So, I don't know. <laughs> but I don't know. Maybe I have headphones on. So maybe I, <laughs> maybe it's coming on. I don't know. 
if you want to hear a, if you want to hear a fan come on four weeks to fat loss that'll get you that. i've done that twice i've done both weeks twice and i haven't heard it so i don't know but again sometimes i'm just clueless as to what's going on so um like i didn't realize the noise was a pr until she pointed it out <laughs> i was just like is this something it does sometimes so i don't know so but so, oh, go ahead oh i was saying but yeah like i and i opt into the goblet squats because i always swap that that out if it gives me the what's the barbell thing i can't the front do barbell the front where it's like that one's that one's uncomfortable in the sense that it's just not a good way to yeah, it's like it's like okay. So what if we took a goblet squat, but also someone punched you in the throat? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh, that's an interesting take on exercise. Like that's, I'm gonna pass on that. But thanks. <laughs> Not your favorite move. I've never been able to get it to work. And people, I've seen, I've watched the tutorials. I've tried the different things, and I'm just like goblet squat. And if it won't let me swap it out, that program is dead to me. Like if. <laughs> Like I've I've the only time I've ever dropped out of programs is when it pops up and if it won't swap it won't let me swap it out I'm like I'm out you're done <laughs> moving on. There was a guy on the boards that had like this Mad Max looking like chest thing with two metal rods that you can just set that on and it distributes the weight across your shoulders. Yeah. I've I've tried to convince him we should try that, but he's got no interest. Well, like I said, if I could swap it out, then I'm just like, that's fine. That's plenty. <laughs> I get it. What what is your favorite thing about Tone All Troy? I just love the you know idiot in a box kind of thing. Like <laughs> all you gotta do is just turn it on. Yeah. And it does everything for you. And then it keeps giving you that little carrot of the the PR and the and the reps and the um volume and all that stuff and it's just like a video game now i know you said coach pablo is your favorite is that do you you have to be taking other classes because you mentioned the tony horton one so what what other uh coaches do you tend to kind of gravitate toward um i don't really have a a thing i just kind of pick something that sounds fun and go with it what sounds fun to you what sounds fun Anything that doesn't have goblet squats. <laughs> I mean, well, there I know aren't that, many I know of those. Needed, but, oh. <laughs> yeah, there aren't many of those programs anymore. <laughs> do you do the uh, the like the two week ones? Have you tried many of those? No. No. Okay. No. Okay. We are very similar in our take. Yeah. It's like four weeks. I like the four weeks. I, li- I like that I don't have to think. And that's part of what I like about four weeks is like I don't have to worry about it for a month. Yeah. You know, like it's I don't have like two weeks. I'm like, oh, I got to pick another one. Here's the real question. Do you pick your next program the day you finish the last program? Usually. <laughs> <laughs> you two are tonal twinsies. Yeah, I do the exact because I don't want to come down next time and spend 10 minutes trying to figure out what I want to do. I'm like, I'm going to do it right now while I'm while I'm winded and I don't have the energy to walk back up the stairs. So, yeah. Yeah. The less you can think, the more you're like, you overthink it. Yes. Exactly. That's ex- that I'm in the exact same place where it's like if I, I if I give my head any room to contemplate. I'll, I'll bail. So I just want to come down, hit a button and go before I, I figure out a, a, an excuse. So, yeah. so do you do any other kind of workouts or is like tonal your, your go-to? Um, now that the weather's getting nice again, mm-hmm. um, started going out and walking, Very uh, nice. just finished four miles before we started this. Uh, and then the wife and I just bought a, a Nordic track, uh, S 22. Oh, nice. Okay. What so- is that? Is that a, is that a bike? It's 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 like a Peloton. It's yeah, it's a bike. Okay, but um, I kind of stole it to be precise. <laughs> Wait, <because> what? <laughs> go on. So, this is a recorded line. Please be aware. <laughs> so it's it was normally like three grand, and Dix was moving into the, uh, the new model, the twenty-seven inch model, and they had it on sale for fifteen hundred dollars. So I was like, yeah, no, I'll take it. Nice. Well, that's it's not a, nice. yeah. that's definitely not you stealing it. That's just you getting a good deal. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. But when it's like 50% off, you're like, man, it almost feels like I did something wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but in a good way. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. 
Well, that'll be that'll be fun. Some some content to get you more cardio. Do you ever do oh, cardio yeah. on the tonal too? Um, not as far as like individual programs, yeah. but when it comes up in in the like the the strength cleaning, the get lean programs, then yeah. If they bake it in, you'll do, you'll it. do it. If you're not going to choose a class, yeah, in same way. Yeah, tonal like, twinsies. Right I, I here. think it was a uh, Coach Francis that had one of her. Cardio and Fuego, that was a bad day. <laughs> I could not breathe. I think but I've done fun, that one. But it was it was devastating. Yeah, <laughs> I think I've done that one. I have a couple of cardio ones because sometimes, so I do Met Pro for my eating portion, which has been very helpful for me. But, uh, but sometimes my Met Pro coach will be like, you need more cardio. So I have a couple of those like cardio things just banked that I know that – I can that they're challenging, but not too challenging. And uh, and I just go and snag them. And so I got them all kind of queued up. He doesn't like to do any of the on the bike or the treadmill or anything like that. So he likes to keep it all on the tonal. Yeah, he's very he's a tonal purist. <laughs> <laughs> what about if what about people getting started? What kind of advice would you give to them? Uh, don't look at the numbers at all. For the first few programs. Uh, the roadmap is great. Like it, it's a really nice progression and you can kind of judge like, okay, this is a little too easy. So either maybe go to the next one, do a few extra reps, but don't, don't think that you can go into this, if, especially if you're a gym rat, like it's different. It's way different than free weights. It is a lot less forgiving and just don't overdo it. Yeah, definitely good advice. Yeah. I think it's realistic when you're first getting started to just focus on the moves, focus on the form, and just, like you said, don't pay attention to any of the other uh, any of the other details. I think that's good. So does your wife use it at all, or is it just yeah. yours? Oh, yeah. No, she uses it. Gotcha. <laughs> and I guess she's digging it, too? Yeah. Yeah. Um, she's noticed... Uh, uh, quite a bit improvement on the on the scale side. That's awesome. That's awesome. And um, she gets kind of frustrated when like she can't do some of the moves. Oh yeah, uh, that is frustrating. At the weights, but I'm like, you were doing less last week, so you're making improvements. Yeah. It's just, and it's going to be hard. That's the whole point. It's meant to be difficult. And all the coaches will tell you, your form is more important than weight. So if you're not, if it doesn't matter if you if you move it from point A to point B, if you're not moving it in the proper manner. So like, there's no shame in, in taking it down a notch or two if you can't do it. I forget what move it was the other day, but I just did it because I was just like, I, I can't do this. Yeah, and early I, on, I had a move that I can't remember what it was either, but um, I even remember when we interviewed Coach Nicolette, she was like, oh, you should I was telling her I was struggling with it and she was like, you should try moving it down, get the form and build yourself back up and then go back to a, what you were doing, but like build it back up. So your advice to your wife is correct. That is good advice. Especially if you, like I said, I took, I pretty much, I, I would do something just to keep my streak going. Mm -hmm. um, so if it was just, you know, a meditation class or something, but I wasn't doing any real strength training and having been off for like two months, uh, you'd really have to do turn the weight back down just to yeah. get yeah. back into the, the swing of things. Yeah, and that first workout when you come back, whoo, you're sore. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I know how, I mean, I the most I think I've taken off so far is like a week, like when we went on vacation. But yeah, those first couple, like, they get you. It it reminds you because it's and it's that's not like a cardio thing where we're, when you're on vacation, if you really wanted to, you could jog or hop on a bike at the hotel or something. It's you can't really. You could lift the free weights. I would know what to lift. I mean, it's twenty five percent less. I know, but that's math. <laughs> Keep in mind, I didn't finish college till I was forty five because I had to take a math class. So you think I'm going to go down to a hotel gym and now I'm going to exercise? You've combined exercise and, and math. math. Like your why favorite I, thing? Yeah, like all the what all the only other thing you could add to that would be like and eat vegetables. <laughs> I'm not doing that, <laughs> especially on vacation. You shut yeah. your mouth. <laughs> okay, Tom. <laughs> Tell us how you really feel. I got riled up, treating you like a TSA agent. And then, and then the hotel staff calls 
calls the police because there's a crazy man talking to the weights in the, yes. in the gym. <laughs> yes, that would happen. He yes. would end up yelling at something and some inanimate object would be yelled at. <laughs> and our machine smells like asparagus. <laughs> What ha- he's ranting about about his calculator not working and our machine smells like asparagus what happened here yes get him out of here uh. be banned from the best western <laughs> again oh you're a troublemaker I what am. can i say <laughs> Well, I uh, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to join us. Um, before we let you go, uh, let everybody know where they can find you if uh, you would like to be found. Uh, just on Facebook. <laughs> I'm I'm old now. I don't understand Twitter. I don't yeah, do I don't TikTok. Either. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to do any of that. That's too much. No. Yeah. I don't even like that. I, I was a MySpace kid, so. <laughs> it's funny. I never did that. The only thing I ever latched onto was Facebook. And so I have a Twitter and I do it sometimes, but not much. But, but like, I do Facebook and, like, that's plenty. That's the only one that's stuck. Yeah. Yeah. And the thing, I, the fact that Instagram and Twitter are together and you get reels and you're watching it and it's you get, like, half of the story and you're like, where the f- is the other half? Yeah. It, it irritates the the ever living crap out of me and Chris is just, so frustrated with me because she'll be like I sent you that on Instagram and I'm like what what <laughs> and I'm like I'm looking at it and I'm like I don't understand what I'm supposed to read <laughs> yeah. like, you read this right here and I'm like I, I, I feel the same way about Twitter I'm like yeah. I don't know what this person is responding to <laughs> I can't find the thread <laughs> I hate Twitter <laughs> we sound so old we right do. now you guys we do <laughs> Uh, well Troy thank you again for doing this we really appreciate it oh no problem (laughs) well I guess that brings this episode to a close Uh, until next time where can people find you uh, well, not on my couch, hopefully. Um, you can find me on Facebook at facebook.com slash Crystal D. O'Keefe. And you can find me anywhere on the tonal leaderboards at Clip Out Crystal. And you can find me on Twitter at Roger Kubert or on Facebook at facebook.com slash Tom O'Keefe. You can find the show online facebook.com slash superset podcast and also don't forget you can watch all of these over at our YouTube channel youtube.com slash the clip out. So that's it for this one. Thanks for tuning in. And until next time, Keep lifting. Smart handle, smart bar, smart training. There you are, customized, make it right. AI, form and vibe. Super set will show you what it's all about. It's a tonal word. The Superset is made possible in part by support from Tonal.